Uh, hello guys, I am Shabin Nagar. I am a uh, DB consultant, DB article for Microsoft SQL Server 2005, 2008, 2012 as well. I am mainly highly interested about T-SQL performance regardless, data warehousing solutions, replication solutions, hardware performance issues, and uh, integration service, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, mainly, I am the founder of SQL Server dash performance dash tuning.com and the board member of SQL Server plus.org. I'm also former member at uh, sqlserverperformance.com and Microsoft Tech Forms. Uh, as by now for our today's session, we are going to talk about very interesting subject that highly concerned by a lot of DBA, lots of DBAs and DBA analysis worldwide, which is relevant to index optimizations. First of all, let me tell you one thing, guys. Most of guys, if you look around the world about DBAs and DBA analysis, most of guys has you have used to work index optimization as some kind of the trial and the error. That's I don't like here at all. And I'm going today to start with you good mission of realistic workshop examples to show out for you some kind of 2005 and 2008 and also 2012 techniques for index optimization and how Microsoft could help us for this regard to submit for us a good portfolio of techniques to help the guys for, to enhance their extensive query accordingly uh, to uh, any kind of 2005, 2008, 2008 techniques. But first of all, guys, I'm still insisted to say this word again and again. Our mission is, it is just not to enhance our queries to get the zero second, to get uh, one second. That's, that's not enough for me. What is enough here? to think more deeply about the stress scalability, how you enhance your query to be powerful enough to afford any kind of stress workload exiting database production server. And really it is a realistic mission and it's a real, real mission that could help your database cluster to be healthy and up and running perfectly all the time and afford any kind of overload exit. So, we are going to the to start from this part, index optimization. First of all, how I could decide my index decision according to my query? From where I start, since I do believe much, if you start correctly, you will end correctly. That's it. Mainly Microsoft has provided us two main techniques to start your analysis, not start to implementation of index, not start first your analysis, how you analyze your query. We have what is called query execution plan, which really I'd like to give more preference for this uh, here. Query execution plan could show out for you the ugly index part that exists there and the ugly query execution plan items that need really for deep enhancement. And moreover, DTA, this database tuning advisor, released from 2005 and onwards, this DTA uh, to be honest with guy, it is good tool. It is helpful for you to show out main guidelines, main guideline about uh, index, but it is not all the time give you the exact index you need for your query since it is still the current workload submitted for it. So if your current workload was submitted for it is not precise and something intercepted this workload of other queries that uh, out of your scope. So perhaps suddenly you end up with a killer point of performance sometimes if you apply all the index. Since the DTA gives you recommendations of index removal and the index ends. And that's what, I, what I'm trying to say for you. DTA is not the final decision. It is just helpful for you to show out your right way and to, to guide you on the right way for index. But basically, I, I'd like to give a preference for query execution plans, since this one really show out for you the exact ugly indexing part and how to enhance it. So from that point, I have to start with the ugly query execution parts, and which ugly execution, ugly query execution parts I need to give inside more on them to give more them to give more enhancement of for, uh, these parts. I have basically five parts that could help me to identify the stress benchmark for my query 
without without even conducting the stress test on my body. How how comes this? First, I have in this scan and the table scan and the TBF scan. That's why this one is correct in this building. And this scan or C with high IO or CPU cost. Okay. And I'm going to show out for you what is the meaning of high IO or CPU cost. Basic three short to see about high, it is greater than one. But even even one is excessive IO and the CPU cost. Key look up, bookmark look up, and read look up, record and file look up. All of these parts of the system plan basically are the main ugly parts that you need to keep inside more on these parts. And to do your best to overcome these parts to get the optimal uh, plan and so you will get the optimal stress uh, stability for your uh, uh, queries. Okay, let us enumerate one of uh, them one by one and see how we could uh, overcome them using 2005 and or 2008 or 2012 techniques for index optimization. First of all, I'd like to start with index scan, which is really the most common uh, index scan, and it is especially uh, need more effort from you to overcome. And this scan is basically expose a lot of CPU overload in the database compression server, and in front of eyes for ADBA, any DBA or DBA, DBA database administrator, we find this monitor a lot of C expected weight. This kind of weights which is called C expected weight, expose a lot of CPU overload in your CPU resources or your database protection server that perhaps be if get massive, you will find your CPU utilization exceeded 70% and this is result of Microsoft for high CPU utilization. So, index scan. 2005 techniques has submitted for us good technique to overcome this index scan. And uh, really, it was amazing future, as and it was helpful for a lot of query to enhance uh, significantly the elapsed time and the uh, query session plan time. Okay, this technique is called covering compound index. What does it mean here of covering compound index? Only before the sequence 2000 was not a choice for you to create non cluster index with include column. It was just to get key columns. And that's it. And from 2005 and onwards, Microsoft submitted for us a fair chance to create non cluster index with include column parts. That really helped significantly any query, any expensive query, get enhanced without any ex uh, overload on your CPU resources or IO resources. This covering compound techniques yeah. basically is marking. Okay. Can, can you can you make your voice more clear? I mean, can you just become closer to the mic? Make your voice try, a little louder, please. Is it better now, Nabil? Again? Better now? Yeah, try to make your you know your voice a, a little bit louder. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, okay. Uh, so, guys, covering compound index. What does what does it mean? Does it mean for bound it does it refer to composite keys on your index, non-cluster index, and the covering it means here you cover your non-cluster index cover sufficiently all the entire of your select statement, for example. That's that's all of select columns and the where columns and the join columns are included in covering compound non-cluster index. That's why I'm trying right to say covering the index. This covered compound index give me fair chance for my query to select this index directly instead of hitting the table. So I'm, I'm, I'm coming now finally with index C. So let me enumerate what kind of columns to put in the key columns and what kind of columns to put in the include column part. And I'm going to show out that in details why it's a demo part. Basically, join columns and web conditions are worthwhile to put in the key column. But all of the select columns exit in the select list should be included in the include column part. So our index now is broken to half. First half for key column, including the join column, 
and the wave condition column. And the second part, the include column, include all of the entire of selecting the column list, uh, exit in our select statement, for example. But for order by and group by, this is a special case somehow. Most usually, it could be included in the include column part. But sometimes, I need to include then output them in the key column part. According to your query, depends on your kind of queries, uh, your uh, cost of order by, your cost of group by. If it's huge cost, I need to refund it right and to put it in the key, key column. So I'm going to show our details in detail. It's a demo part and in our workshop it's something. But let us guys bypass this the second part. This is really highly interested, highly interesting table scan. Table scan mark is called what is called e table. As our word is table is how it is this. So our cluster index, in other words, it is called heat table. Heat table will expose lots of, lots of overload in your CPU resources that it will be translated definitively in CX packet way. So you will find massive CX packet way in your data activity monitor, and you don't know what it is generated in this query. Perhaps it takes zero second, or one second, two second, something like that, not the key. Even so, it, it is not powerful enough to be afforded by your Resource, cluster resource, but that is production resources due to heat. So, what is the resolution heat basically? <clears throat> create cluster index according to your uh, most expected uh, primary key column or most expected column to be cluster index. If you, can, if, you, if you couldn't figure out which column is appropriate for the situation, you have automated uh, solution to create identical column. This identity column could create cluster in this select column. But bear in your mind, you have to double check your global team. Since perhaps the global column uh, team uses the insert statement without column list. So, by the situation, perhaps the insert statement will get free. In other words, the write down insert into asterisk, and that's it. But if they are, you are confident to show that the use the insert statement is insert and this is a file column list, it will hear no impact for adding additional column as identity column and the post cluster index. Believe me, even it is simple action, put identity column, we can get cluster index to avoid the table scan or what is called what is called in table, it is really highly worthwhile to be refunded in your uh, queries. Running on database protection server to save your CPU resources. Okay? And I'm trying again and again to say, think more deeply of the stress is capability, not just your performance. Performance doesn't matter. Performance, you, one second, two second, it's easy mission sometimes. But what is not easy here, it is stress is capability, it is our desirable objective. We are trying to reach it in the shortest way. Okay, guys, continue what is the meaning of scan. We have started with index scan and we continue on table scan and we are going, are going now to say what is called TPF scan. Again, this is the same. TPF scan it stands for table value to punish and scan. Why? TPF it is simply a table without index again. So, uh, coming now to say the same meaning, scan. But here it is TPF scan, which is, uh, which is this generate. A lot of uh, TPF scan in your Excel plan. TPF scan, I have showed previously in other sessions relevant to TC core performance enhancement about how to resolve and how to overcome TPF scan, but I'm going today also to show out how to overcome TPF scan in the demo part. Uh, basically, TPF scan as a TC one it needs TC core enhancement, not index optimization. TPF scan couldn't be overcome by putting uh, some index on your, that, on your tables. It is not going like this. It is going by conducting some kind of sequence. The sequence has how? Basically, the result coming from TPF, uh, first of all, TPF it is Microsoft standards, Microsoft codes. It is not ugly by itself, but it is ugly if it is, it is used improperly. How? 
If you you select the from TBF without any showing of their conditions, by the time it is progressing. But if you are going to join your TBF with another table, or put additional wear criteria on the wear conditions of your TBF, maybe it will come up with a lot of overload, scan, and uh, find in front of your eyes, see expected weight again, which is mean here's the visualization. Anyway, what, how I come uh, to overcome this uh, situation, I could create, it is one of the alternatives, but I have also a lot of, lots of alternatives I have showed before in TVF enhancement. One of the alternatives to create TIMP table, and this TIMP table you have to take care of its impact, and to insert the result coming from your TVF in this TIMP table, but before that, you have to create TIMP table with sufficient index. Sufficient cluster index or sufficient non cluster index according to your type of query. And by the end, drop this TIMB table to assure no buffer of data. And your TIMB table you will use instead of your TVF for all of the inner joint, for all of the joints, and the wear conditions. So, you have, so what, we are, what we are doing now is replacing the TVF with a TIMP table sufficient index. And that's what I mean. I have now replaced the TPF scan with index C, with sufficient index C, exit on a TIMP table. By this way, I could guarantee enough, believe me, I have experience for this situation, significant performance improvement for, for, for huge, for huge time, like like 30 seconds, or sometimes it has reached for me significant enhancement of minutes. Sensitive, but in particular, more for huge data entity, since it is a table scan really expose a lot of CPU overload that couldn't be afforded by your database protection server, and definitively your query will get dramatic time. Continuing on for the meaning of index scan, but I'm going now to divert somehow to index scan and index seek. Index scan, as we have discussed now, it is the ugly part, and it should be replaced by index seek. And we are going to make it elastic in our workshop example, through a real workshop example. But unfortunately, I have some other case with index scan and this index seek as well. Perhaps the index seek sometimes is ugly part, how? If you have a huge I.O. or CPU cost, this massive I.O. cost or CPU cost index seek represent for me, can say, dramatic degradation in the stress stability. And that was what, 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 I, what, what I don't need here to come up finally with uh, bad stress stability for my query. So massive I.O. and the CPU cost is really representing ugly part even for index seek. And I'm going to guy to say, keep inside more on the I.O. cost and the CPU cost as well. But I.O. cost is the main parameter for determining the stress scalability. Since most of current database production servers has now sufficient CPU resources, we have now great advancing in technologies for CPU resources. We have now quad CPU, we have six CPUs, uh, six core CPU, and we have now new generation of Dell and HB server. Coming uh, soon, it's a CPU, it's a core CPU. So I don't think we have big deal for CPU resources. But the big deal always in the I.O. resources, but in particular more if you use local storage, not SAN storage like EMC or HB or Dell or NAS, where you could find over there some uh, a lot of techniques for I.O. Uh, resources like EFD, Enterprise Flash Drive, FEC, Fiber Channel, ETA, Advanced Technology Technique. Uh, attached to technology uh, advanced. All of these technologies of uh, IO resources help us, but sometimes our query is still ugly that expose a lot of overload in these IO resources. So, Microsoft in 2008 started to submit for us a new portfolio of techniques to help us to reduce this I.O. cost and CPU cost. 
2008 provided us what is called filter index. Index filter of 2008 really is very amazing techniques and wonderful techniques that could help significantly for stress benchmarks and to increase the stress stability for any query. To afford the more stress workload for a massive number of concurrent users, like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 concurrent users hitting the same query at the same time without any negative impact in your cluster on the database protection server. What is the meaning of index filter here? Index filter here basically impersonate what is going on in your query. Let us assume I have some query of this. Select the asterisk from the quiz for MBW name equals this and the MBW ID and finally salary less than 10,000 and greater than 5,000. This last condition you see, this salary is really worthwhile to be bought in your index design. But 2008, 2008 has provided us what is called index filter. Index filter basically narrow down the index uh, scope for search to this limit of data. Salary less than 10,000, greater than 5,000. And also as well, narrow down the index size as a size and the data entity to this number of record. So if you assume your table has 3 million of record, and we have just 500 of these employees and disease that entity having salary 10,000, uh, less than 10,000, greater than 5,000. So what are you expecting now? You're expecting now for index size, you will have only 500 records for your index. So what are you expecting from IO cost for index size of 500? Nothing. And instead of it was first 3 million for your index. So 2008 technique really has submitted for us these amazing techniques to help you significantly to reduce the I.O. cost by reducing the, uh, the index size by making some filter according to your, your queries and you have to be uh, you have to be sure of some limitations of this index filter before you creating you are going to create this index index filter guys, should be matched exactly with your query parameters and your query conditions. So if I'm assuming now my query, for example, say salary less than 10,000 and the greater than 5,000, I couldn't put index filter uh, like uh, salary uh, greater than 10,000 and less than 15,000 it will mismatch. So my query execution plan is not going to select this index. My query analyzer is, will, will discard this index and will uh, select different index. So I have to be much aware about this regard to select this, to use the same uh, query criteria, criteria and the where conditions in your index filter. Okay? Moreover that, I have no choice to use complex operators. It is really another uh, restrictive limit on me to, for index filter. So I have no choice here to use complex operator, like, uh, for example, not equal, uh, like uh, or gates. All of these uh, operators are not uh, allowed for me. Moreover, cri filter criteria, as I have said for you, should have the same syntax as query like for or between operator, for and operator, for whatever. Moreover that, guys, filter, uh, index filter here shouldn't have any differentiated function like average, salary, like maximum, minimum. All of these kind of differentiated fun uh, equations and differentiated functions are not allowed. So using any kind of differentiated uh, function either system function or UDF user-defined function are not allowed for, for our situation here for index filter. I know these restrictive limits of index filter somehow are noising, but anyway, I do believe I still have some fair chance to create index filter since most of query has simply operator, has, uh, shouldn't be there any differentiated uh, function. I could overcome this situation also. 
but uh, definitely by the end I could guarantee for you if you created sufficient index filter according to your query you will gain a lot of performance gain. Moreover, Microsoft 2008 is still insist to help you for this reducing I.O. cost by using another technique called data compression. Data compression doesn't mean here for the table only. It could apply it for the index only if you didn't apply it for the table. Both of them are working separately. So you could apply data compression for your index to reduce the index size and the I.O. cost of your index. But here for data compression, we have, we, I can say we are tentative somehow for between two techniques, row compression and this page compression. And the lots of guys are asking me, which one is appropriate for here's our situation, row compression or page compression? Let me judge the situation from, from the basis of stored procedure called USB underscore compression underscore saving SV. This stored procedure really help you to determine the page, uh, the, the I.O. Uh, cost reduction for page compression and the row compression for each table and determine which one is better, page compression and row compression for saving the storage capacity. But bear in your mind, it is not the only criterion for selecting or to, to determine which one is better, row compression or page compression, other parameters and other criterion are stated by Microsoft as a matrix for this regard to, the, to identify which one is appropriate. For example, it depends on other criterion of your kind of your query. If it is OLAP query or OLTP query. Basically, OLAP query like much page compression. OLTP query, some of them are compatible and you can see are comfortable enough with page compression like insert, like delete. And it depends also on other criteria. And for update, it's more comfortable with upper compression. But definitively, you have to estimate how much your OLAP query hitting your table, how much OLTP query hitting your table, which one is worthwhile to be refunded more, this one or this one. But from my expertise, lots of compressions go better with page compression. So let me admit for you the fact, query analyzer sometimes don't like index with row compression and don't select it at all. So my query analyzer doesn't like to use index with row compression and like much better to use index to with page compression as it looks like query analyzer give preference here for the page compression for lots of situations. So you could work out this, this one also for your queries and see the difference you will find over there page compression most likely is much preferable for your uh, query execution plan. Okay guys, we are going also to show out this in our demo part. It will be really amazing. So we are going to address all of these techniques, even 2005 techniques or 2008 techniques and we are going on to continue on with the 2012 techniques we are addressing with the stress benchmark using database stress tool. And our database stress tool today will, sh will judge us which one is better, 2000, 2005, or 2008, or 2012, and see the differences between each one. Coming next to talk about column store index. It is a new amazing technique of 2012 and really helped it much for Intensive OLAP transaction and the data warehousing solutions also as well, where, uh, where massive data entity are intended to be data warehoused or uh, whatever selected transaction or OLAP transaction. Column store basically it is normal index. It has this index. It has key column only. It hasn't include column part. But we are not uh, backing down now to SQL 2000. Microsoft here has. Uh, submitted new technique is called column store. It is some kind of, uh, you can say, some kind of structure of index. Not the, the design of index itself. Structure of index. How it is structure is data. It is basically column store storing its data and joining its data basic on the column. So it is going to store all of the data of each column and uh, eventually joining all of these columns together 
Instead, it was first in Microsoft SQL 2005 and 2008. It was based on storing the data according to records for each record and finally joining all of these records. So what do you expect if you have future entity? Future entity exists there, really your index, you will go back uh, if joining and if uh, storing all of the each record and joining finally all of these records once a time. So Microsoft 2012 has helped for this situation by providing this column store index to help you to store the data of each column first and finally joining all of the columns once a time. Really, we will see today the difference in performance. I admit this feature of 2012 has submitted significant performance improvement of 50% at least for some uh, for the huge OLED uh, transaction in particular more. We are going to show this difference in our stress test. Continuing on the last ugly quick execution plan part, which is called red record in the file lookup and uh, key or bookmark lookup. What is the meaning of each one? Red lookup, let us start with red lookup. It is record in the file lookup. It is basically, guys, it is referred to our markers for missing cluster index. So here, missing cluster index, where I'm going to discuss uh, about missing cluster index, we return back to see about, uh, see about heap table and the table scan. So the basic solution here by to overcome this red lookup up by creating sufficient cluster index in your team. But bookmark lookup and the key lookup, you will find a lot, lots of times this uh, bookmark and the key lookup in your custom plan. What's mark for? It marks for missing some columns of your non-cluster index. In other words, you have some non-cluster index and you have selected some column to put here in key column and the other columns to put include columns, but unfortunately you have missed some columns to put, to put here in the include column part or the key column part. So perhaps maybe you could analyzer, get comfortable with this non-cluster index. But unfortunately, some columns are missed, so he is going to replace this situation by using bookmark lookup or key lookup. Okay? Both of them are interchangeable somehow. So how we could overcome this? By using sufficient covering compound index that we have discussed in the beginning of our session today. Covering compound index mean here compound composite of a lot of keys and the covering covering here uh, all of the entire of selected column list not just a single column index single column index here most of guys think about single column index is perfect for index wise not to increase the index size not to come up with any impact is on all the transaction it is a basic abstract lots of dbas and db analysis think about but this somehow uh, you can say is not ultimate abstract or absolute abstract it depends on your uh, kind of OLTB transaction and how far it is uh, intensive uh, OLTB transaction. But uh, here, covering compound index is really much preferable for uh, our uh, OLAB transaction. Anyway, all of this correction plan, if we have covered sufficiently, it is not the end of the story. So we have here, <clears throat> we have here other regardless, we have to be high cautions for them. If I get sufficiently index using index and I have overcome all of the index scan and the table scan and the TVF scan and even the end is this index scan or seek with massive IO or CPU cost and this is rent or, or key or book out, bookmark lookup. It is not the end of the story. Perhaps maybe your performance get degraded and back again after two days, three days, after a few days anyway. Why? Since missing maintenance plan for your database that should be conducted there. Basically, we can see basic outline for this maintenance plan, online index rebuild. I'm not, I'm not going to say index rebuild only since I know your database production server should be available all the time. So we have to take care for this regard to use online index rebuild, which is available on SQL to enterprise edition only. So if you are using SQL standard edition, you will stick with this regard. And you have to decide with your uh, managers if you have uh, sufficient budget to afford this enterprise edition. Really, it is worthwhile. 
lots of features are there in the price edition of the standard, one of them online index rebuild. But basically, on index rebuild, we have two kinds of index rebuild, index rebuild and index reorganize. Index rebuild is much preferred more if your index fragmentation exceeds 30%. Which is markets for huge OLTB transaction running there in your tables, and your fragmentation here is exceeded 30%. You have to select online index rebuild. But if it is less than 30%, you have the choice of index reorganize, which organize just the leaf of your index. Definitely, definitely, index rebuild is better than index reorganize. To be honest with you, online index rebuild as a job. Guarantee for you optimal performance and uh, so propose for you uh, index healthy situation more than index organized. But it depends on other criteria. How I could schedule my online index rebuild daily, daily, or weekly? Which frequency basis I could select for my online index rebuild? It's this, situ act, this question is dependent on your environment. It is not absolute situation to be answered from Microsoft. Microsoft couldn't give you precise answer about this question. It depends on your index fragmentation percent first, as we have discussed right now. Data entity size. So if you have massive data entity like huge millions of record, 100 million, it will not be easy to uh, schedule your own index rebuild daily since by end of the day you will find a lot of heavy locks due to a lot of heavy schema locks and other words in your tables due to index rebuild is going there. Okay? Available week of times. It also assuming that we have no enough week of time to contain online index rebuild. Since the guys, bear in, bear in mind, not online mean here Everything is top perfect, top LC, no impact, no downtime. You will find some schema look while even online index rebuild that could impact on your end user transactions and you have to be high caution for this regard. So you have to select perfectly your available peak of time. You have to make SLA or surface level agreement with your stakeholder. Say here I'm running to make index rebuild by that time. I have no choice and they select appropriately this uh, week of time. Moreover, also, most of guys come on, come on now in practice about update statistics. But the statistics should be conducted there to keep your index updated periodically, and I'd like to give a pre preference for this job to be scheduled daily. In particular, more if this job has less impact. It hasn't I couldn't say it has no impact. It has some impact. It has some impact while running this job. Because this impact is not tangible for end user, could be acceptable somehow. So we have to take care why, uh, for uh, schedule update statistics daily by the best uh, time according to your uh, current workload. Okay, guys. Let us now continue to the demo part. Yeah, guys, as I have committed you, we are going now to start our workshop example with showing out the stress scalability and the stress benchmark for our uh, queries after each kind of enhancement, even table scan, even index scan, TPF scan, what kind we will show out today. Uh, I'd like to uh, give preference for using this tool. I like, I like it much, really. SQL query stress, it could stress any kind of uh, T-SQL query. 
with any number of concurrent users, but I have seen some limitations of 200 concurrent users. But even though I could open multiple sessions to stress my query. Okay? Okay, guys. Now I have database like Workshop 2 and I have symbol table, salary containing around 1 million records. Yeah, around 1 million records, which is good for our test. This table basically, as by now, has three columns only, name, employee ID, salary, without any index. And this is with me type of data. It is very simple data for the name, employee ID, and the salary as well. Okay? I'm not concerned about that entity, what kind of data is exists here. Just I'm concerned about my query, which is going to run on my database. This is simple query. To select the name and the employee ID from my table, uh, salary, with this condition, salary greater than 1,000 and less than or equal 5,000. What you expect while you are going to show, first of all, I'm going to include the actual correction plan and I have the estimated correction plan. What's the difference between of them? This one will give me the estimated correction plan, estimated by the query analyzer without running it. And this one is going to show out the actual query correction plan which should be interchangeable with the estimated one. And if not interchangeable with this one, it marks for missing update statistics, missing, uh, uh, missing, uh, you can say, bad index fragmentation sometimes. Anyway, your query analyzer has not estimated perfectly as an outline. If, if it is a query analyzer has not estimated perfectly your regression plan, it means something is going wrong in your updated statistics job or your index rebuild job or particularly more some kind of parameters differ the query description plan. Okay. I'm going now to include the query description plan and run it. See with me guys. It returned around 800,000 49 and my question plan show out for me table scan. First of all, it is here, the ugly part I have showed out for our presentation now, table scan. And see with me guys, the cost here is massive cost. For IO cost, sorry, IO cost you will find over there 1.9. And the full CPU cost also 1.15. Anyway, I'm trying to get insight more about uh, on I/O cost. Really, it is massive. As I told you, basic is threshold, and I could say maximum to say I/O cost one. Even one is big for me. You have to reach I/O cost something like, for example, 0 0.003, 0 0.005. It is really it will be much significant for your stress stability. So as by now, my IO cost is significant and I have also table scan. So it is really disaster situation. What I'm going to do, very simply, this table scan, I'm going to create a cluster index on my table. See with me, I'm going to select in between ID as a cluster index occur, with unique, never mind. But before that, uh, sorry guys, I missed it to show for you. Uh, I'm going to remove it again. To show for you the stress scalability for this query. I'm going to this, get this query here. And to put here, select. Let us start for 50 users, for example.
for the other connection I will put server here and the select database workshop is the connection succeeded okay see with me the difference see me this is the start of our workshop with this query I could see here significant time my query take 2.2345 oh it is amazing just the 50 user only it has reached to seven second although with 50 user although if I run it as a single run it will not take more than four seconds which is proof enoughly our my code couldn't afford very simple stress workload of 50 user okay guys so what I'm going to do now I'm going to increase the, the performance somehow by creating this cluster index. Again, see with me the correction plan after creating this cluster index. You will find, oh great, it has now differed somehow. To cluster index scan and to see with me guys the estimated IO cost has been increased significantly from 1.9 to 1.0 and the CPU cost is still somehow the same but here I am trying to get insight on the IO cost more so what you expect from your stress scalability here I think it has increased somehow let us run again with 50 concurrent user the same query see with me guys somehow it has enhanced from 7 seconds to 5 seconds and even though I'm still not convinced with the stress benchmark really it is not acceptable at all so what I could do I have to create I start using 2005 techniques for covering compound index covering compound index Microsoft has as I have said use a covering compound meaning here could be included in covering all of the entire of the columns in my index not to make the query analyzer hit the table directly let the query analyzer hit the index and they seek this index instead of scanning the index or, and uh, the letter in the table. Yeah, so my index seek, how I could come with index seek, I will create one cluster index. Shihab? Are you having a read? Yes, uh, you have less uh, than five minutes to finish. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, so we have at least some time if somebody wants to ask a question or something. Okay, I'm going to finish right now. Okay, thank you, Snarid. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to create non cluster index as a covering compound index by selecting this index, this column. First, I have to identify which column is the where condition. This one salary, so I have to put here as a key column. That's it. Which column exit in the select column list? Select column is the name and the blue ID, so I have to put them in the include column part. That's it. This, so far, it is 2005 technique. I have to create this index. See with me the guys the difference after this creation of index. You will find different query execution plan. Oh, great. I have now removed the index scan and superseded by index seek. You got my point, guys? Index seek. But I still am not convinced since it's estimated IO cost is 1.7 for IO cost even so I have enhanced the CPU cost since it has been now transferred from index scan with higher CPU cost to index seek with lower CPU cost which is good enough for CPU resources but not enough so far for IO cost I'm going now to enhance this index using 2008 techniques first of all uh, let us show the difference for stress scalability right now it will be enhanced but not big deal oh great we 
have reached it now from 5 second to 2.2 second. This is good somehow, but it's still not acceptable. What I'm going to do, I'm going to enhance my index using additional techniques submitted from me from 2008 using dash, uh, data compression. I'm going to create another index, the same design, salary is in the key column bar, and the name and the new ID is the accurate column bar as long as they are in the select column list. But this time, I'm going to make a comparison, see with me guys, on my index using page. And I have told you first, it depends, page or compression, row or compression, according to the result, our estimation result of uh, SCP, USCP underscore compression stored procedure. But anyway, most likely, I'm going to use page first and see my query analyzer if could select this index or not. This index I'm going to create, see with me. And let us now see again the correction plan and how far it will differ. Oh, great. It has selected the index 3 instead of index 2. It has selected my index 3 instead of index 2 first. So, what is the cost here? Oh, very amazing. Estimated IO's cost has increased significantly from, from 1.7 to 0.6. I do forecast that my stress test will get better result here. Oh, 0.6. And the CPU cost is still the same since both of index 2 and index 3 are interchangeable for the CPU cost and the CPU overload. See with me guys, the result of stress here, after applying 2008 techniques. It will be enhanced somehow, it will be the same, but we have to run again to see the difference. Here in your mind, I have some problem in my laptop. Couldn't uh, prove enoughly this situation, but if it is conducted on server, it will be much better. Okay. Okay, guys. As by now, we didn't get big difference since our problem in IO sub resources. But anyway, let us continue to the second technique of 2008, which is called index filter. Index filter here, I'm going to create the same index 3 with the same data compression, but I will add just index filter according to the same query parameters. Yeah. Bear in mind, I have to stick sharply with range at least to be the same. So I'm going, to, for example, to select greater than 1,000 and less than 6,000, with interchangeable the same meaning. Okay? Yeah. I think we're out of time. Just to give me two minutes, Nabil, I'm going to finish right now. That's the last one. Okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm with you. Then two, just two minutes, Nabil. Uh, I'm going to create this index, guys. See the difference now? This is one. Yeah. So, we should select this index. Anyway, let us change the index vector. Run it again. Still exists somehow. Anyway, it was uh, should be selected, but it needs some some change. The index filter perhaps might be.
to still insist. Anyway, let us check it later now. Uh, as by now, we have to finish by the last technique of 2012, which is column store. Basically, column store, I'm going to create either instead of non-cluster index, non-cluster index column store, and here put your columns name, blue ID salary, that's set, and the name index, by any name, for example, index 5, that's it. See with me, the guys, now the difference, the last thing of 2012 techniques. has selected now column index scan for these new index of 2012 and see the difference now for the stress benchmark really it is much amazing now my performance enhancement has increased significantly from just 2.2 second to 2.2 0.8 second. Really, 0.8 second is really much, much amazing here for my query. After it was taking the first seven second and the coming next five second and uh, three second and the ending finally with 0.8 second, which is good enough for performance. Uh, anyway, uh, that's basically as a very simple show for a simple query for 2005 and 2008, 2008 12 technique. Perhaps at the next session, inshallah, we will focus more on T-SQL enhancement to continue our interesting series about toward this T-SQL query of zero seconds. Uh, anyway, thank you for follow-up.